Greetings, my friends. How are you today? It is time for another pickup video. That's right. I've got games. Not many, but I've got games. Um, yeah, yard sales have been kind of slow so far. I haven't done many. I can't say that I'm really trying that hard this year. I admit I'm not <laughs> because, you know, it comes a time in a gamer's life where I get more comfortable in my chair and I sip my coffee. And you just get sick of uh, doing yard sales. It's just not fun anymore. Um, it used to be the point. Do I could? I feel like I complain about this every week. It used to be the point where you could wake up at like nine o'clock, nine thirty, head on out, go to yard sales. Have been going on for a few hours, and you'll still find games. Now, unless you wake up at five in the morning and wait two hours in front of a house. Even though they say, no early birds, please. Um, yeah, that's the only way you're going to find games. So, I mean, I have methods now where I can still find games at yard sales. But I don't like doing it. It's boring. Um, yeah, I'm not very enthused. <laughs> but um, I'm trying to find other ways. I mean, now it's like scrounging for scraps. I mean, pretty much what I got was scraps, except for one thing, which is really cool. So, but... I'm going to go and just get started because you guys don't want to hear me chit chat. You just want to see what I found. And uh, we'll move right into story time, shall we? Now, this is going to consist of two yard sale pickups. One isn't necessarily um, a yard sale pickup. I mean,. I got it at a yard sale, but I didn't like do it the traditional method. I mean, hold on, coffee again. It's early in the morning. It's not really taking much time. Um, I found I go through Craigslist every week. I try to plan my routes and everything. It doesn't always work. Um, saw a moving sale, twenty minutes away. Said they had games, but it says they have games on Craigslist ads. That's when I contact them ahead of time. So I'm like, do you have? video games, board games, or like card games, like, cause I've been to sales that list games, and it's like card games, and like poker, I'm like, that's not what I want, <laughs> so I emailed her, I'm like, what kind of games are you actually selling at your sale? She's like, Nintendo games, I'm like, ooh, Nintendo games, eh? I'm like, eh, Nintendo? And I was like, what kind of Nintendo games you got? And I thought it was nicer than that, obviously. <laughs> And she sent me a nice looking picture, um, that, um, yeah, I'll just, I'll show the picture later when I do the pickup of what it was, and I was like, okay, um, I would like to buy that. <laughs> um, she, we started, she's like, okay, um, well, I'm, I'm not having the sale, I'm having the sale on this day, but if you want, you could, like, make me an offer now. And I didn't know what to offer, because I wanted it badly, so I was just like, 50 bucks. She's like, hmm, can you do 80? And I was like, can you do 60? She, we ended up, she ended up agreeing on 60. So 60 bucks for the fine that you'll see later, which is cool. <laughs> um, the other sale was a yard sale that I actually found games at. That was a random yard sale. And you know I'm a sucker for PC games and everything, but they're not in the big box. They're just discs, but they're some of my favorite PC games and a few Sega Genesis games. So I was like, sweet, and they were all two bucks. <laughs> Everything that I got was two bucks. Um, so a short story time, not much information being divulged here because it wasn't really eventful the last two weeks. This is obviously two weeks. This is like last week and the week before, I think. I think. No, last week I was away. No, it was last week. I don't remember. But anyway, enough about that. That's the story. Two yard sales out of like the... 30 something I went to those two weeks. I think I even went to a community cell too that had nothing. I don't remember. But, um, yeah, I have no concept of thought anymore. <laughs> I'm just like buying games and just looking at them now. And that's it. So, let's get right into the hall and check out what I got. As I sip my coffee and decide what to show first, um, we'll go right into that couple buck pickup I got of the PC games and a few Genesis games. First game I got was um, was this oh F15 Strike Eagle 2. 
I think I have F15 Strike Eagle 1 somewhere. Don't know, but I'll find it, but cool. I also got a torn up a box copy complete of Aladdin for Genesis. I actually like the Genesis ver version better than the Super Nintendo version of Aladdin. Um, these Disney games are awesome for those uh, systems, like Lion King, Aladdin, um, what the hell do they have? They have Beauty and the Beast for Genesis, which I have, which is actually good. There's like Bell's Quest, which is really good. Um, and I got Sega Sports NHL All-Star Hockey in the box. I hated these cardboard box Genesis games rather than the plastic case ones because these always fell apart. And like this one's already destroyed. So those are the Genesis games I got. And then I got a bunch of PC games, like I said. Only a disc, but I'm a sucker for PC. Oh, there's something else in here. I don't mind, it's two copies of the same thing. <laughs> um, Dear Avenger 3D. I'm gonna play this later. It's actually pretty hilarious, the cover art for this game. <laughs> it's like a Rambo deer killing a hunter. We got Lego Creator. Why do these disc cases feel so heavy? A Lego Creator. We got Midnight Club 2 for the PC. And the only reason why I really wanted these games is because it had a bunch of Sim games. It had Sim Isle, Sim Copter, Sim Tower, and Sim City Classic. Of course, all these Sim games, and I'm going to yell at my friend Rob Mitchell, no Sim Ant. How about that? I'm still without a copy of Sim Ant. Somebody hates me, I won't give my Sim Ant. I'm just kidding, buddy. You can, you can keep it. I just want fucking Sim Ant. Someone give me Sim Ant. Please, someone trade me a copy of Sim Ant. <laughs> That's all I want. <laughs> Moving on, next haul. This is the big one I was talking to you about. I mean, it's, it's big for me anyway, because I don't have it yet. And I kind of wanted it. It's kind of rare, if you think about it. So, I'll show the picture here. Actually, I don't want to show the picture. So I, want, I, want, I want to lead up to the surprise. So I'm not going to show the picture. <laughs> Maybe I'll show the picture afterwards, if I remember. I don't know. I record and don't remember what I'm saying to the camera. Eh. Alright, so, first lot. Okay, yeah, this is all 60 bucks, by the way. So she had a Game Boy. Nice little purple Game Boy SP. Uh, it works, so it's just not charged anymore. It came with the case. Oh, it has a name on the back, too. Skylar Freitas. It's on those stupid, long, sticky post-it things. Those things that come out of a machine and like, they're possible to get off. Whatever. Uh, a few games, nothing good at all. Uh, Corvette. Whatever. Um, <laughs> Lizzie McGuire on the go. Yeah, Lizzie McGuire. Who's Lizzie McGuire? Who the hell is that? I got the actress of name, whatever. Um, Cartoon Network Speedway. You guys can't even see these. Cartoon Network Speedway. I'm gonna post pictures up of the games at first. Namco Museum. Mickey Speedway USA. Um, the Wild Thornberries. Rambler. Well, I don't know, whatever. And Pokemon Pinball missing the battery cover, which sucks. But then there's the juicy stuff. Stuff that I bought this whole lot for. Um, and I just dropped on my PC games. Hold on. Eh. Okay, there we go. And a sip of coffee. <laughs> so now we got the big stuff. Bunch of N64 stuff. I'll show you the games first. So here we have Namco Museum 64, Mario Tennis, the Powerpuff Girls. Mario Kart 64, and a co copy of Pokemon Stadium 2, and now for the grand finale. Eh. The reason I picked up this slot, which I just realized I left the expansion pack cover inside my car, because I'm an idiot, because I was checking to see if it had the, um, the, um, what the hell's it called? The, uh, uh, yeah, the, the red expansion pack. I can't, I can't talk today. I don't know what I'm saying. So, first hint is what I got. Two lovely gold controllers. Yes, that's right, gold controllers. Gold. And a beautiful gold N64. And this is not the Japanese version, this is the US Toys R Us exclusive version, which is awesome. Um, I believe this is the... I may be wrong, this might be the rarest N64 console. 
Um, the gold version. It was limited release exclusive by Toys R Us only. Um, it goes for quite a bit actually, complete, and luckily enough it is complete. And it's in great condition, I just gotta clean off some uh, spotty dust, but otherwise, I love gold! gold. I love gold! But that's why I picked it up. I mean, I, I, I had to get a gold N64. I mean, now I have I have the green, I have the, the blue, I have the black, I have the gold. I don't, I don't remember which other ones, there's other ones. But yeah, I'm on my way to getting all the N64s, which is cool. But, that's all I got. Um, not, yeah, nothing crazy. Like I said, the art sales suck, dude. They're not fun anymore. But... Until next time. Oh, be sure to check out the Reading Retro when I post it, which will be going up soon. And I'm excited about it because it's stupid, but funny. Hope you guys like it. Um, until next time, we got another pickup coming soon. But I always say, keep on gaming. Just game, guys. Don't just stare at your collection. Play it. Later, guys.